Hi all, Mark and Marky with the Exiles. Uh, today we're just going to talk a little bit about uh, the Villano strike, the Villano, uh, copy the Villano, okay? So we'll talk about it with sword first because it's easier to visualize um, and then we'll explore it with uh, sword versus polax and then actually polax versus polax um, as well. So with the uh, sword in two hands, it's pretty straightforward. Actually, this is a really good example because I'll link a video underneath of just a bit more in depth around doing this action with, with sword in two hands. But this is another good example of sometimes we teach things a certain way and they evolve, okay? So really what I want to do is I want to wait with the front foot forward a little bit because I've pre-assessed my opponent, okay? I know they like to steam in. I know that I can be fairly sure they're gonna send in a certain type of attack. As their fendente comes in nice and easy, I'm catching it and I'm just doing this position here, okay? And then from there, we all know the play now, I'm cutting over and as he retreats to run away, I'm lining up the thrust into the flank, okay? So that's it with a sword. Wait for the big attack, there we go, stepping over and that gives me the next play. Very important thing going on there that needs to start coming in, especially when we're going to look at sword versus polax, okay? One of the things I did there was I caught it and then I let it fall, okay? Now, you could say that's a wasted action, and in fact, initially, we don't teach it that way. Initially, what we do is we teach it like this. We let the person run to the ground, okay? We don't draw it to the ground, we let them go down there. But, if he's tanking in, or if he's got a polax, as we'll see in a second, it's really important that I stick my point out to catch it. Because, let's say he does a Mizano, okay? And I commit to this action, I am dead. Yeah? Because I'm doing exactly what Fury told me. I'm waiting on the front foot off a little bit, I'm oh, oh no, I'm dead. Because I can't guarantee he's gonna do a Fedente. So what I do instead is, I catch it point forward, Mazzano is absolutely fine, and then I make the transition. Okay, so it's a bit counterintuitive, but it's super important because I can't guarantee that's going to be a fendente. Now that same principle becomes really important with a polax. Okay, we've got a polax trainer here because we've been doing a lot of polax training this week. So Fury is very specific about this. He talks about the copy de Milano, and in his, he also says I can do this if the person has a polax or a cudgel, both heavy and light, okay? So we're looking at polax right now. So, two choices. I can do it point forward, which is very, very doable still. So the polax swings in, I catch it, and I just let it drop, okay? And over we go. So I can keep it perfectly consistent with how we evolve this action from a sword perspective. However, with the polax, you can't really do a Mizano, okay? It's not really something you can really do. It's, it's very difficult, it's very, very clunky. So, it's possible, but I can weigh up some risks, okay? I'll be, uh, yeah. If he's an experienced guy, I can be reasonably sure he's not gonna try Mizano, because if he does, he's super open, yeah? Even though he's got a longer weapon. So I can be a bit, bold with this, okay? I can do it point forward, like we do with hatching, down we go, there we come. Or I can be really bold, which is how we start off teaching this, and I can just get offline, okay? It depends how bold I'm feeling. Now, I don't know about you, but I would rather play it on the safe side, okay? I'd rather come from high or low, it doesn't matter, Pull it out, let it fold, and over we go, just in case he does a middle type blow, okay, a Mezzano type action. Because if I just miss, I'm dead, okay? So a choice to be made, okay? So that's sword versus polax, okay? So then we come nice, quick, gosh, over we go. And he's got a lot of weight on the end of that thing, so it's a little bit easier for me to get offline. It's actually a little bit easier to do this against a polax than it is against, than it is against a sword, okay? So now we look at Polax versus Polax. Okay, now Polax versus Polax. So uh, just recently we did a video about the importance of the orientation of this weapon. So 
I'm going to start in uh, Boston and Donna with my beak up, okay? What it means is when I come out, I'll need to project into effectively a crossing but with the hammer now down. So in, in motion, I've turned this thing around, okay? So there's another video on the reason why that's so important. But it doesn't change. So he's swinging, I'm swinging, I catch it, okay? I let it drop and then I roll it over. Okay, but I'm always presenting the hammer forward. There is a small risk that they can tangle up, so we'll talk about that in a second. But just look at the action, come this way a little bit. V cup, a meter, so I let it fall, and over I go. Okay, now obviously it's a lot longer than a sword, so I need to make the space. So that one of the key differences is how much I come offline. Once I've let that fall, I'm here really. You have to get maximum power driving into his arm and helmet. One of the risks though, is Fury does talk about the weapon going to ground. Just like with a sword, I'm not guiding it to ground. Okay, I'm keeping my arms nice and high, no wasted action. So the risk is though, is like, as it starts to drop, we, we tangle up, we tangle up. That is not such a big deal because there are other things I can be doing. There are other players, one of the players is a very similar play. I can come down, hook onto the leg. There's lots of things I can do. So, you know, that's all just part of what you pick up from using these things. But the actual action is very consistent. Sword against sword, where it's shown. Sword against polax, as is described. We didn't show cudgel today, but it also can apply to just polax versus polax as well. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and until the next one.